Hi, I'm Maris, and in this video, I'm going to be covering different types of leadership styles. I'm going to be following along with the leadership flashcards. These are found in our fundamentals flashcard deck. I'm going to be starting from the beginning. So if you have a set of these cards already, go ahead and pull them out. We'll go through them together. Okay, are you ready? Let's get started. Now, if you see here on this card, there's a lot of bold red text, which means it's important for you to know. So let's go through some of these authoritarian or sometimes called autocratic leadership style. So this one is where the leader is really kind of making decisions without input from the team. Um, this is not an ideal type of leadership style. It's more of like a dictatorship of leadership styles, and it can lead to a lot of high turnover and employee dissatisfaction. Um, so this is useful during emergency situations. So think of like a mass casualty event. Somebody has to step in, take charge, give directions. You know, this isn't a time to collaborate and have a sharing of ideas. It's an emergency. So this is good for emergency situations. It's not an ideal leadership style for like your everyday unit management, for instance. Now, moving on to laissez-faire. When we think of laissez-faire, this essentially in French means hands off. Um, so this is the leader who kind of just lets people lead themselves. Um, they're going to let the team make decisions for themselves. Uh, and this might sound nice, but it leads to low productivity and frustration because there's no actual leadership going on. Um, so it relies on the team members to, to make those decisions for themselves. Again, not ideal. And we do have a cool chicken hint here to help you remember that laissez-faire is lazy. So if you can think of that, when you are taking your nursing school exams or thinking about leadership styles, laissez-faire is lazy. Now, democratic, this is where the leader and the team work together towards the goals and outcomes. Um, it promotes group satisfaction, but it may slow decision making. Again, if we are getting everybody's input, it's going to slow things down. It's not that this isn't necessarily an, a good leadership style. It's just a slow one. So keep that in mind. And then we have transactional. Now with transactional, it is what it sounds like. I want you to think of a transaction. Like when you go to the store, if I give you money, you give me a thing, right? That's that's the transaction. With transactional leadership, there is going to be a reward in exchange for tasks being done. Now, sometimes this might be a good thing. Sometimes it's a nice, you know, motivating factor. Like when you're, you know, the person who gets the most positive patient comments gets a pizza party or you know whatever sometimes that can be a good thing but again we don't want to necessarily always be motivating people with extrinsic rewards and extrinsic motivating factors so think about transactional there's going to be an exchange so if you do something i will reward you with something that you want um but this is also like we're not really thinking of the big picture here right it's it's not we're not getting at the intrinsic motivational factors we're getting at just if you do this i'll give you that now, what is the ideal leadership style? The ideal leadership style is going to be transformational. So we're not just doing a transaction, we are transforming the people beneath us with our amazing leadership skills, okay? So transformational, this promotes teamwork and shared decision-making, um, and the leader is going to be seen as trustworthy and respected. Again, this is the ideal style. So this is, you know, the leader is, is strong, they're making strong decisions, but they are considering input from the team. When I think of transformational, I often think of like a unit based council where members from the unit of different interdisciplinary team members, the nurses, the techs, the um, uh, uh, respiratory therapists, you know, they all get to have input on what they see as possible areas for improvement, and then the leader gets to take that information and decide what to do with it. Uh, we want to transform the culture of the unit to be supportive and caring. Transformational is the ideal leadership style. Okay, that is it for leadership style. I have some quiz questions for you to test your knowledge, so let's see how you do. Okay, are you ready to test your knowledge? Here we go. A unit manager says, if you help me with these chart audits, I'll downstaff you early tonight. What type of leadership style is this? 
This is the transactional style of leadership because the manager is providing a reward for finishing a task. What is considered to be the ideal leadership style? Transformational leadership is considered to be the ideal style. All right, that is it for this video. I hope you learned something. Leave me a comment about something you learned or experienced about leadership style. I'm excited to hear. Thanks so much and happy studying. I invite you to subscribe to our channel and share a link with your classmates and friends in nursing school. If you found value in this video, be sure to hit the like button and leave us a comment and let us know what you found particularly helpful.